Hi, Renee Jones here with Pack Your Own Bag. Belief is essential because it means we're more likely to be all in. When we're not, we half-heartedly say we want to lose weight or maintain it, but we don't follow through because we're only partly invested in success. Next week is Thanksgiving in the United States, the beginning of our holidays. It's a good excuse for a food orgy, but we can celebrate, enjoy the festivities, maybe even feast a bit without tipping into the excess gain. Are you in? The holidays are a microcosm of long-term management. You get all the triggers, all the potential stumbling blocks in just a few weeks. Yay! Yet year-round, the calendar is full of celebrations. Sure, there may be times when you choose to be more relaxed, and that's great and appropriate. And if you can get clear and committed to the ideas I'll be sharing over the next weeks, you can make your own choices around food rather than feeling pressured or guilted into compliance. Do you like that idea? First, know your triggers. What drives you to food? Is it a person? A frustration? Something someone says? Or food pushers who try to guilt you into something? Get specific with your triggers. Write them down. Capture them when you feel it. Because knowing the specifics will help you prepare for it or even unwind it. So think of a situation you have been in before and will likely face again. What do you need to be prepared to face it? And how can you choose to do something different? Oh, you mean you can do something different? Of course, but we haven't done it that way in the past, so it doesn't feel right yet. I get frustrated with myself when I can't get past a reaction or behavior in some areas, and the same can apply to my food behaviors. It takes practice to retrain myself, and it takes intention, and sometimes it takes a bit of help. But a different reaction can make the whole thing feel better, leave you feeling better. Second, know what works for your body. This is the first concept in my 3YB process. You have to know what works for your body not your mother's or sister's, not your friend's. What works for you? What keeps you satisfied? And how can you choose more of that at whatever meal? What drives you to cravings or makes you anxious or angry? Or what makes you feel happier and healthier? What do you want to choose? Over the holidays, I know there are foods that will stick like glue to my hips. I know the quantities I can reasonably take in and how to approach the day physically if I just will. Know what works for you and put that into your plan. All the best.